Yo, uh, what's up guys? We have taken the Enroot into Neuro Biochemistry and I would like to welcome us um, to this new biochemistry topic. And first of all, we'll be going on the introduction to Neuro Biochemistry. Let's move. So that the nervous system of higher mammals is made up of what? The central nervous system, which is made up of the brain and the spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system integrates and processes and returns signals received from the peripheral nervous system. Why the peripheral nervous system produce, provides what a communication, communication link between the central nervous system and the rest of the body. Now, the effectiveness of this communication network is the responsibility of the sensory and the motor functions, which are unique to the nervous system. Okay, this is the central nervous system. Uh, this is a peripheral nervous system. Okay. I would say that the sensory functions emanate from sensory receptors, which provide knowledge of the outside world in form of touch, taste, smell, sight, and hearing. Why the motor functions refer to the ability of the nerves to affect the activity of target cells, such as those of the muscles. Now, the neuron and the nerve cell is the, ba is the basic uni uh, unit of the central and the peripheral nervous system. In addition to the nerve cells, the nervous system contains an abundance of another type of cells that surround and support the neurons, the blood capillaries that feed the brain too. Now, the cells which are very small, that's, those are the cells that su support the neurons, all right? They are very small in size and compared to the neurons, all right? They are called what the neuroglia. All right, um, neuroglia just mean nerve glue. All right, they are gluing the nerves to supply them. All right, or simply glia cells. Now, let's talk about having had our introduction on the neurobiochemistry. Let's talk about uh, the basic unit of the nervous system that's a neuron. We see that in most, um, in almost all animals, the nerves uh, that are easily visible to the unaided eyes are not single cells. They are usually bundles of different cell uh, nerve fibers, all right, held together by connective tissues. Now, each nerve fiber is part of the nerve cell as a neuron, okay? Uh, the neuron, which is an excitable cell, is capable of generating and conducting electrical sim impulse by temporarily reversing its membrane potential, all right? Conducts electrical impulse by reversing its membrane potential. Right, this is a diagram of an EL for nerve. This is a dendrite, this is the cell body, this is the myelin sheet, this is the shrunk cell, this is the axon terminal, this is the node of brain valve, this is the axons, this is the nucleus. Now, the neuron is made up of three parts that's the cell body or the soma, and the, uh, that's the cell body of the soma, okay, the axon and the dendrite, right? The cell body contains the nu nucleus and the cytoplasm. In the cytoplasm are numerous particulate um, structures called what? Nasal granules. Now, these granules, which are easily stained with methylene blue, contains what? RNA and are associated with protein synthesis. Also present in the cytoplasm include what? Golgi apparatus, mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, lysosomes, and per peroxisomes, right? The lysosome contain large amounts of acid hydrolysis, I know what they do. They degrade any foreign stuff that is inside the neuron. Okay. Now, the lysosomes and the peroxisomes serve to hydrolyze ingested materials in the cells. They may also carry out autolysis of the tissues after the cell damage. And the cell body is essential for the nutrition of the neuron. Okay. Dendrites are the numerous thread like branches outgrowth of the cell body. The axon is also a thread like outgrowth of the cell body, but unlike the dendrites, the axon is much longer, on branch for most of its length. Therefore, it is only one per cell body. Okay. Now, the part of the cell body from which the axon grows is what called what the axon hillock. Uh, this is the axon hillock. The axon ends in highly a uh, branch structure called what the nerve endings. Okay. These are the sensory nerve endings. All right. Okay. With these guys, we are done with the introduction to the neurobiochemistry and we spoke about the neuron. Okay, so see you guys in the next tutorial and bye for now.